a very good morning and welcome back to the channel and as promised as we have finally hit 250 subscribers I promised that I would do a £50 cash giveaway so we'll jump in to that straight away all you need to do to get involved is be like like the video subscribe and comment the winner of the winners at York it's going to be the 140 the 220 and the 255 so if you can comment all the winners of them three races then one lucky person if it is a tie will have to choose between people but if one person can do it you'll have 50 pounds coming your way in cash so make sure you do get involved in that but today i'm going to preview some of the weekend's action focusing mainly on the haydock meeting and we're going to start with one of my horses to follow it worked quite well for the jumps campaign we had some good one winners out of my horses to follow and some big poised winners as well and this one is for the flat season the runs at haydock in the two o'clock and it is valley forge it's currently seven to one in the market it runs over two miles it's a class two handicap and there's some decent horses in this race but i think valley forge is open to a lot of improvement i previously said that this horse could be rated 100 by the end of the season it's currently rated 89 but has some very good form it won the melrose at york off a mark of 93 beat a hawk on moshawa who's turned out to be a pretty useful one as well and he came back at newmarket in a pretty competitive race the winner of that race was absolutely chucked in he was probably never gonna beat seaman but it was a very good run into fifth on a track that probably didn't suit that probably didn't go fast enough for this horse this horse has been dropped a pound it should come on for the run on more of a galloping track i think all of these are factors which will suit david poor does do very well when teaming up with andrew Baldwin as well so at seven to one i think he's worth a little bit of a follow next up is probably my nap of the weekend and he teams up with my jockey to follow for the season benoit de la Saya. so if you actually just back this jockey blind one pound stake on every one of his runners in 2022 you'd be up 10 pounds there's not many jockeys who have a positive strike rate like that so it just shows how good he is and how effective he is for his seven pounds claim now this horse mighty ulysses is 13 to 8 in the market but you can definitely see why for me i think it might be the last time you see this horse in a handicap he's shown a lot of improvement and he might be destined for group level later down the line he does have entries as well in the st james's palace at oil has got the group one so it might be a bit of a tough ask for him that worse but i think today off a mark of 107 101 i should say benoit de la Sire takes off a very valuable seven pounds and i think he's a very promising jockey and a very promising horse so this son of ulysses should be getting off the mark on handicap debut off a mark of 101 and should be destined for better things a bit of a preview of the first group race at haydock the three ten over the flying six furlongs and i'd be a bit disappointed if neither el cabello or gobez go managed to win i think both of these might be destined for the commonwealth cup down the line gobez go has been a very good horse for connections and he ran pretty well when winning at ascot if you look at some of the horses in behind especially eras who was beaten just over two two and a half lengths that horse pushed tim buffalo all the way the william haggis horse at newbury that was a very good run so the form of that race has been flanked and i think gobez go and el cabello who has been very progressive on mainly the all weather it should be said if he can translate that form to the turf will be very affected and i think hugh taylor put this horse up for the commonwealth cup so that's probably a tip in itself he should be going close others to note in that race ever given he was very impressive at chester this is a totally different ball game but it'd be nice to see hugo palmas keeping up his good run of form starting out at manor house stables and finally the three 45 at Haydock. That's the other Group 2 race, and I think there's only one Group 2 horse in this. It's actually a Group 1 horse in the form of Winter Power. Now, she managed to win the, Yunth the Nunthorpe, I should say, which is a very competitive Group 1 at York on lightning fast ground, and I think these fast conditions should suit Winter Power today. Now, she probably does save her best form for York, but I think she should be up to winning this. She's very far clear on official ratings and there's not much else in the race really i think probably might be a little bit overpriced because of connections timmy so he doesn't always send out first time winners but this horse won first time out last year when starting a three-year-old 
campaign out of Bungle in the jungle. She's all speed, and I think with David Allen taking now, she should be taking quite a bit of beating, even though she is 13 to 8. Finally, we're going to have a quick talk through the 2000 guineas, which is also on the Saturday native trial. A price speaks for itself 4 to 11 should be getting the job done. Buckle, who is progressing but does have a lot to find, he's second in the market. The one that does slightly interest me is one that's been overlooked in the market, Ivy League. I think that can run well at a price. He's shown a lot of improvement. His debut was only a couple of months ago when he was well beaten. Sixth out of 20th beaten, nearly 10 lengths, but he's won twice since then. His latest start in the group three at Leopardstown. That wasn't too bad of a run against the older horses. Usually these younger horses do struggle against the older ones, especially at the early start of the three-year-old campaign. So I think a lot better can be expected from Ivy League and he can continue his upwards progression. And at 14-1, to 1, I think he might be able to run into a place, although I think Native Trial and Connections would be very disappointed if they manage to get beat. So that rounds up the video. Thanks, of course for hitting 250 subscribers and if you're new here do subscribe because there will be lots more giveaways to come just a reminder to enter the 50 pound challenge like subscribe comment the winners of the 140 220 and the 255 at york the very best of luck to you all and i'll see you soon for some more hopefully tips and hopefully some winners